Hello, hello, my friends. How's it going? It is the second day of the weekend. Well, I guess maybe first day. For some people, it's the first. You know, for people that work, um, I guess, what would you call it? Uh, a nine to five? Is that, what, what, what? Yeah, a nine to five job, then this would be the second day of the weekend. Or day and a half, depending on how you measure your days, you know? How are you guys doing? We're gonna get back into Wind Waker. Um, I realized, <clears throat> after going back over the progress that we made last night, that um, we've already made it through like an entire third of the game. <laughs> so um, this series may be a bit faster than I anticipated. So I put up a, a, a poll on Twitter. Um, if you guys want to contribute to what the game would be uh, after we finish this. Um, at the pace that we're going, um, assuming that I don't um, get stuck anywhere, I get the feeling that we might be able to finish this next weekend. Unless I go, like, apeshit today and uh, somehow end up finishing the game today. All right, we're uh, getting into the Forest Haven. Um, this is kind of where my knowledge gets a little bit spotty. I remember parts of the dungeon, but I don't remember um, all of them. So we'll see how it goes. As you saw, I did not know how to kill these uh, Boko Babas, and they still give me trouble. I guess you just gotta hit them, like enough. That seems pretty simple, right? Yeah. Yeah! Just like Link says. He knows what's happening. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah! And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit this. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. I guess I should also, um, I get, I get the feeling that there might be a tie. It, it's either, it's either the pole's gonna come out, um, for near Automata, or, um, it'll come out as a tie for Disco Elys uh, Elysium and, um, Nier. And if that's the case, then I'm going to pick Disco Elysium. Because I'm kind of excited to play it. Um, but we'll see. We got to go talk to Big Blue. This is honestly one of the weirdest iterations of the Deku Tree. Like, I don't know. It looks like he's kind of like the ball sack of the tree. You know? Oh, no! He's got goo, goo boys all over him. Why are you, like, all of a sudden? Oh god, how do I get these? Uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know. I get the feeling I'm supposed to, like, hookshot him, but I don't know. Oh, is she gonna tell me what to do? What are you doing? Quickly, you must jolt those strange crit- Oh, I have to run into him. Oh, yeah, shut the fuck up. Oh, God! Gotta love, gotta love those frames. Get up, you coward! I should have grabbed those jellies before I killed them. Hello? I don't know. <laughs> Same, Link. I've got no idea. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. 
I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of these of those goo boys. <laughs> Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Korox, little children of the woods, this tra traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. The first Korox! They don't poop everywhere and give you their poop. Adorable. What do you call yourself? Rivet? Well then, Rivet, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time. That's the Deku Tree talking, I don't know why I gave him that voice. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But then they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. This was always the weirdest iteration of the Great Deku. Yeah, it really is. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? Oh no. What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, it, it is not like that, oh great Deku Tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Ribbit, you have heard of all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah yes, thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Ribbit, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children, yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Yes! Also, the first iteration of the, uh, the glider. <clears throat> oh! He tried so hard to grow that leaf. Oh, I hate that he opened his mouth that wide. Forgive me, Rivet, but could you climb up my crown and get the leaf from up there? You know it. You know it, bud. I think I need to recalibrate my controller again. I get the feeling it's going to do this every time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amazing. Oh, d shut the fuck up. Okay, that should that should help. Hopefully. Yeah, that helps. It looks like I'm probably gonna have to calibrate this controller every time that I wanna play this game. Oh yes, the wonderful, uh, basically, essentially the Donkey Kong barrel puzzle, yep. except uh, only vertical. Oh god, and you have to like have, you have to like tilt the controller in just the right way. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's try this again. We got it, we got it. I thought I was gonna overshoot it. Fuck, where am I supposed to go? Oh. Nice. Hello? Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. If you shoot up out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt L in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. The Baba Bud. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna play it safe. I don't want to start all the way back on. Come on. Come on! Oh, 
professionals. We're professionals. Amazing. And that gives us magic power. I think there's ways for us to expand that magic power as well. Um, okay, we're gonna set that. Um, let's set it to X. Is there a way for me to get over to that? Yeah, I think there is. I think I can just... Oh, jeez. Amazing! Oh, I'm guessing this leads out, maybe? Let me see, make sure it's not anything extra important. Oh, so this is like a side area, I'm guessing. I'm terrified that I won't be able to get back over. Um, and there's a little thing down there, too. Hmm. Am I gonna fuck myself over? I don't wanna fuck myself over. I don't wanna go all the way back up. Um. What do we got to lose, right? Oh, we have altitude to lose. That's uh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it. Where does this lead? Well, at least, at least we didn't fall too bad. We still have to go all the way back up there though. That's unfortunate. Now we gotta keep our fucking magic bar all the way up. It's like the... It's like stamina. It's green as well, so... God, I'm just seeing all the parallels. Like, after seeing all the Zelda games after this Zelda game, you, you like, really see where shit came from, you know? I still wonder what's inside that, uh... Uh, you know what? We could have just directed the wind. Fuck it! Come on, Link. Give me some magic. Give me some- give me some of that magic, baby! Juice. I forgot that we can control the wind. It's not a thing you can do often in games. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good wind. That's a good wind you got there. Curious of this, uh, what the fuck this is. What are you doing here? Y you're incredible. D did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly, do you think maybe you can hit that switch over there? Huh? Can you? Huh? You can't see it? It's just over there up toward the top of the forest haven. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? There's a button. What? Oh, wait. At the base of that one branch. You see what I mean? Right in that little nook. Is it just that? I assume I'm going to need like arrows or something. Or I'm gonna have to like hit it with my sword. What is this? Why is it here? Oh, is it so I can access it without having to... How do I knock it down? Wow. Okay, that's fine, I guess.
Well, so it looks like there's a. I'm sure we could get it with a boom with that uh, with the boomerang. Once we get that. Oh, and there's a fishy boy over there. I'm probably gonna forget to get him, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Ah! Okay, let's try it. Let's try to get over there real quick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're platforming professionals. Hello. Stump shaped houses, you say. We Koroks pass most of our days far away from our sacred forest haven, raising new trees to foster healthy forests on the many islands of the Great Sea. Today is the day we were to return to our home for our annual ceremony. But poor Makar. Please, great swordsman, please save our brother Makar. Is this a shop? Or a potion making thing? It's a forest potion shop. Oh, I forgot about this guy. As for me, I'm using the fruit of the forest to create potions. I'm called Hollow. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, swordsman, but the ones I have here only seem to work on my fellow Koroks. I know. If you can somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then you will surely need a potion that can replenish it. Then, if I can get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I had seeds from the flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, then maybe I could make a potion for you. Do you know about those seeds? I do. I have some, I think. Do I, like, hand it to him? I'm pretty sure I have him in my bag. No. I got hot sauce in my bag. I think it's- I think this is what he was talking about? Oh! That's- that's a Boko Baba seed! That's it. That's what I need to make the kind of super replenishing potion that would help you, swordsman. All right, I'm going to use four of your seeds to create a super replenishing potion. Please wait just a moment. He loves to make potions. It's his life's passion. Angela Mandela Cho Wei! The amazing Korok magic. I love him. Haha, it's ready. Here you go. Blue potion. Stop scratching my chair, you goblin. He is a goblin. <laughs> Calspur is a goblin bean. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. You gotta get good at getting tra traversing these things, anyways. Man, fuck that fish. That's the that's the plot line of uh, what's it called? That one movie. What is it? It's the movie about the, the deaf girl that falls in love with the fish man. In like a secret government facility. They like capture this fish man. Ah, I forget what it's called. The Shape of Water. You've never seen The Shape of Water? It's about a, it's about a deaf uh, woman who works for the government. Um, like works in their seat, like their, uh, it's like a research facility for like marine life and shit, but they find this 
uh, like merman type guy who's uh, very reminiscent of. Oh god, I forgot which <laughs> button my leaf was on. Um, it's very reminiscent of the. Um, if you played Mass Effect, uh, I forget what the race is, but. Uh, god, one of the companions is it. But uh, also the fish guy from um, Hellboy. He looks very much like that. But anyways, they find this fish man, and um, she's deaf. Uh, actually, you know, I think she might be like a housekeeper or something, or like a janitor or something like that. But she's deaf, and um, but she can communicate with this fish fish guy, and they fall in love, and the, and they like have sex and stuff in, inside the fish tank and, and and all that. But yeah, the. Uh, um, the government like gets in the like gets in the way. Yeah, that movie won Best Picture, I think. Or yeah, I, I not that I think you you would know better than I do. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good movie. All, like honestly, in in all like all jokes aside about fish men. <laughs> I found the best way to make I, I kind of wish that there was like a functioning, I think um, games like Spiritfarer and Night in the Woods do a good job of integrating uh, playing music into the game. Um, I wish more games did that better. A lot of the games where you can have like craft instruments or like place instruments in your house and stuff, you just click on them once and they play like a random note. Or there's like no real way to control it. Tis a shame. I, I think there's some cool ways to like make music happen in games without, like, all the technicality, you know. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. I'll, I'll do my best to find your little Korok lad. Congratulations, swordsman. It appears you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf. That eerie-looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makar is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But when you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. If only... <laughs> Proceeds to control the wind. Westward wind. The wind from the west. You know what? Actually, I should probably try and hit that island first. I'm gonna... A southwest wind. Southwest airlines. For the what? Oh yeah, the, the cow milking sound in uh, in Stardew is very juicy. <laughs> nice job, swordsman. It looks like you've ma already mastered using your Deku Leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the tips, my man. Okay, let's... Um, Northwest, I think. Yeah, you know it. I could have swore there there might have been like a, a secret area. Oh no! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got this. We got this. We can recover. We got it. We got it. Just don't die. Just don't fall. Ah, that was so close. Ooh, a feather. A golden feather. Okay, 
Okay, that just stuns them. We can't we can't kill them unless they get close. Okay, this is a fun dungeon, honestly. There's a lot of really cool creative concepts that were implemented. Okay, let's see how fast this dungeon will go in comparison to Dragon Roost. Because Dragon Roost only took us an hour. I also can't remember the boss for this. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I feel like I was supposed to use this for something, but I don't know. I don't know any longer! Okay. What are we gonna find? Dungeon map. Alright. Um, oh, I know what I'm supposed to use it for now. I think they just keep spawning, actually. Unfortunate. Excuse me. Eh. This one is a wee bit convoluted, I think, though. Uh... Yoinkus. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. Um, okay, that's fine. We... will a bomb work? Here? Come here. Come here. Come at me. I don't want to hit this bomb. Okay. Hey, we managed to not hit the bomb. Please work. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Um, leaf puzzle. Nope, wrong way. This is one of those puzzles where you have to, like, hit it from the right angle to make it go in the right direction. God fucking damn it. Come on. No. No! Don't do it! Come on. Come on! Move! Nice. Nice. Oh, we have to do, we have to use the, use our leaf. So does this have a different name? Or are these still Boko Babas? I think they are. guy turn into something useful. Wait. What's these things? More money. What do you know? So I wonder why that's a... Uh... I wonder why those break on contact. Hello? Oh god. Um... 
Oh, okay, I see what we're supposed to do now. Maybe. Oop. Okay, this might be a little bit easier than I remember. I remember these, these puzzles tripped me up a lot when I was younger as well. Let's, uh... Yeah, that was a lot easier. I remember that, that particular part gave me a lot of trouble. Ah! What? My class is... Yeah. Instead of like individual links. And the, the, the announcer on this video sounds like the guy on the Disney. <laughs> so when he was like, this course is enhanced. <laughs> I was like, this is enhanced with the fast <laughs> what, what if you had a, what if you actually had a course in college though? And it like, was enhanced. It was enhanced with Disney Fast Play. <laughs> this class is enhanced by Disney Fast Play. You can buy a pass. It go directly to the Clicking the menu button on your remote at any time. There's weird poopy water. I don't want to be in the poopy water. The waters be pooping, or the plants be pooping. I think we can't go anywhere. It is a fun game. I think you'd like it a lot as well. So I don't think I can go any farther over there. Let's explore a little bit more over here. This was originally on the GameCube. Yep. No, this is the HD version that was re-released on the Wii U. But I mean, it still looked pretty much the same. I mean, this is just has like a little, like some HD tweaks. I feel like I'm supposed to go to the bottom. This course has been enhanced with Disney Fast Play. Ah! Let's see. I wonder how I'm supposed to get those over there. No! Wow, I fell like a rock. Yeah, this, this may be a teensy bit challenging. Ah! Uh. Oh! Ah! I'm stuck in a room with blobs. So I'm unsure. Hmm. So I need to find a... A fairy. Nice. I got it. She looks so sad, though. What? Netiquette. That sounds like something that you would say um, in like the early two thousands about the internet. 
Make sure you use your proper netiquette, kids. Hit me. I think the one gripe that I have with uh, this uh, with this game in general, I guess, is that the camera is kind of wonky. Like it, it gets real close to him sometimes, and I think that might be a. Um, a consequence of the fact that the the GameCube, the, the kinds of screens that you would play GameCube games on um, would be TVs with smaller aspect ratios. So it makes sense that he's closer to the screen, in all honesty. But on a screen like this, it's like I'm way too fucking close to the back of him. Money. So we are eventually, we're gonna have to get a wallet upgrade at some point because to unlock, um, to unlock something really important early on and to save us a lot of trouble, um, we're gonna have to uh, spend a lot of money. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at the map. Um... The room across the way, maybe? There's still a room next door, I think? I'm trying not to, uh, I'm trying to avoid, avoid getting slimed. Gotta remember what it is, what what order I need to do things. Oh, I didn't realize these bud things um, refill your magic. That's interesting. Do I need this bomb? There's no way that I would need the bomb. I don't think. I don't think it would reach down there. Okay, so looks like our way forward is over here somewhere. There's not an area down there. So that must mean there is something in here that I'm missing. So whatever I'm missing is in this room with the hanging, with the hanging thing. So I just need to figure out what I'm doing over here. And it looks like really the only thing to do is, oh, you know what? There's a branch over there I can swing from. Because I was just thinking, I was like, well, how would I get across anyways? <laughs> Did 
these weird moving platforms kill me. Oh no! Damn it. This is one of those games where if you, if you have your jump off, if you're off your jump game, you're gonna hate yourself. Also, he moves forward a little bit when you swing your sword, so... It's really easy to step off ledges by swinging your sword too close to one. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Bro. What do we got in here? I think these things are filled with... Yeah, I hate these things. They're they're satisfying to get rid of though, because all you do is you do the spin, get a bunch of them on you, and just do a little spin attack. Ah, oh, this thing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. See if we can get this over the other side. Nice. What are we gonna find? Our compass. You know, the the map items were always the the items that I was the most disappointed finding um, when I was younger. I feel like most people probably were. Because, like, who the fuck wants a map? I never checked the map. Money! Okay, uh... Of course you're not gonna let me go the easy way. Do, 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 do. Nice. Small key. Yep. What's in the jars? Oh no, no, I don't want to throw it. Wow. Thanks for the magic juice, I guess. Even though the buds fill up my magic, please don't tell me it's all magic. Okay, there's hearts, that's fine. What else you got for me? A neat little, uh, neat little doodad. Get out of here, get off me. I'm not your dad. I'm out of here. I mean, I guess I could use the choo-choo jelly. I'm not the most, uh... choo-choo jelly conscious. Or, uh, I'm not a connoisseur of the, ch of the jelly kind. I was so afraid that that was gonna like move as soon as I jumped. What do we got here? A secret pot. Okay, um, we have the small key, so we can go down here. And I believe the boomerang is behind the store, or at least uh, close by. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, you know, this this one may have been the one that fucked me up. Come on. Come on. No! Damn it. Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. Link, come on. Come on, get on the ladder. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Foul beast! Oh, hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Thank the Lord. Oh, hey, it's Bug. Wow, how did I get hit? Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I hear you flapping. To, am I supposed to be able to get all the way up there on this fucking... just by swinging? What's this for? I don't think there's a way for... Well, hold on. I think I'm able to stop. Come on, just, just stop. Ah! Sure, I'm just gonna go in here. Nice. Yes, I think this is where we get the boomerang. And there's big bug. Press R. Ah. Okay, I think I'm supposed to attack him when he's when he's red. Oh, okay, this is easier than I thought it was going to be. He's pooping out tiny bugs. Wow, get juked. Get styled on. I remember thinking I had to time uh, when you hit that thing. I didn't realize you could use the, the leaf to just basically make him useless. <laughs> Boomerang. Boomerang. All right. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Actually, I can just hit it once. There we go. For some reason, I thought I had to hold down the button. Anything else cool in here that I can get with the boomerang? Nope. Face my wrath. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Now they're bouncy boys. Yup, yup. Perish. Oh, this is fun. I get to knock down all the, the joinkies. I think there's a part in here as well that is, uh, basically you moving through a water canal, but I'm unsure. Come on, come on, just, come on. Ooh, that was cool. 
Um, and that's an earlier area that we've been to. Wow, what a what a find. Why does it why did it play different music for that when earlier it just played like a little jingle like dooby 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 doo wah Wow, conveniently five. What do you know? Nice. I think this is the more water-focused part of the level. Yeah, this is the part that I was thinking of. I'm just gonna take care of you all right here. Very good. Doop. You gotta think harder. Why do you need to think harder? Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. We would be outside. But bubbles of breath. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe are not the best. I botched the shit out of that. Holy. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, wow. It reset itself. That's nice. That's not what I wanted to do. Come at me. Come at me, squid boy. Truly a man of the sea. Oh wow, it, they, they both hit each other. Nope, 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 nope. No grabby hands. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. I see. Yo, yo, wake the wind. You know it. Okay. I need to hit that first, then this, then this, then this. Maybe? Yeah. Wait. Why didn't that hit that fast enough? Maybe I'm supposed to be on top of it? Oh, there's another one I'm missing. Yeah, we are so close to 100. Yeah, we only need four more followers, and then we'll have a cat tea party and drag. That'll be fun. I that sounded like I was like didn't think it was actually gonna be fun, but it's gonna be fun. I've been wanting to do like a full, a full thing, a full get up, you know, a full fit. Ooh. All right, now we need to find the boss room. What do you guys think you're doing? Ah! Holy shit. Did he? Did he get hit? Oh, Jesus.
Link is ruthless. He'll hunt you down. Just you watch. Oh, wow. Nice. I didn't know that they had a voice actor. I heard a little, uh, he did a little scream. I wonder if that's always been there. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get the fuck out of here. It appears... Okay, I see. I see now! Video game update, now with screaming. <laughs> now your enemies scream when you slaughter them! Hello? Spiny boys. Alright, now we just need to find the boss room. Oh no! I'm assuming the boss room is probably past this door. Bugganolds. It's hard for me to, I don't know, th since I've gotten older and played Zelda games, um, it's hard for me to to like the model of just like collecting things to collect things, you know? Like these joy pendants, I don't know what they're gonna get me. I'm sure it'll get me something at some point. But the majority of these items don't really do anything to like change how the game plays or like your stats or like anything like that, obviously. It's just interesting. Um, Nice. Okay, boss time. I'm gonna have to go back and see how long, uh, or how long have we been streaming? An hour and 41? Uh, so probably about an hour. Yeah. About the same as what Dragon Roost was. I don't like it either. I don't ever 100% a game, so I don't really use collectibles. Yeah, and uh, like Zelda games are generally they're, they're like item based, so like the, me the mechanics are based around the items and you can't change how they work. You just, you figure out ways to use them um, in like unique creative ways or whatever, but only within what the developer intended for the most part. Breath of the Wild was a little bit of a departure from that and it added RPG elements as well. Come on. Okay. Nice. This plant is so sassy, too. A little spicy there, huh? Oh boy. Just don't look behind. Just don't look behind you. This fight is, like, the colors, the way that it's used in this fight, and, like, I don't know, the game in general, it's very vibrant. Like, the whole vibe of the room changes whenever you uh, knock the flower. It changes from, like, blue to red, and I think that's just really cool. 
Come on. should be it. And that is the second pearl, and then I think the third pearl is a bit harder to get. I think it's going to require us moving between different islands and stuff. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, th that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. <clears throat> Follow me into the magical vortex. Follow me as we turn into a tiny man. Mm. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. Do not worry, Makar, you are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Rivet. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. <clears throat> Thanks for the magical pearl. We've, we've got the second Dragon Ball, guys. We found the second Dragon Ball! Pretty soon we can summon uh, Shenron and... Uh, bring Ocarina of Time Link back from the dead, and then create a whole separate timeline. Oh, great, Rivet. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> amazing. This game is so amazing. love to see it. You love to see it. Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea. See you all next year. <laughs> Amazing. What a, what a, what a good bunch. So the next place we need to go, I'm not sure. This is actually the part where I have no idea where we're going now. So let's talk to, let's talk to good old boat, boat senpai. Oh, hey, I got mail. Good evening, letters for Rivet. We have one letter. Here is your letter. God, he spit on me. Dear Rivet, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we can get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. Aww. Thanks, bird dad. Where are we going? So this place, too, has been attacked by Ganon. Ga Ganon. Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Ribbit, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in 
a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Northwest of here. Okay, uh... There are a few optional things we can do as well. Now that we have some items. We still need to get, like, bomb shit, though. What's over here? Should probably put something from my bait bag over here. I also realized that place that I thought that there was no, like, foreseeable way for me to get up and get things at over in Dragon Roost. Um, I forgot that you can control seagulls in this game by using one of the, like, those pairs. There's a fishy boy. Come here. Oh, jeez. Come here. Hey! Oi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart an information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. Hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? What? The only way in there is to hit a switch that's way up high in the Forest Haven, but the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the goals by putting a little bait on your head. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Oh! We gotta go back and try it. I like that it has the little Ocarina of Time morning music. That's amazing. Mailbox. What's in here? Oh, this is an interesting area. You did. <laughs> drop in, drop into hole, immediately die. Sounds about right. We are in a really weird place, though. A weird, weird, strange forest area. This is the one that's going to turn into the bulb. Come on. Yeah. You know what it is. Oh shit, don't tell me. Am I supposed to transport, transport one of those balls all the way up here? Or... Um... Do I need a bomb? I don't think a boomerang, a boomerang can break this. No. <laughs> Just <laughs> what? The, what else did I expect? Unless. No, I can't hit the torches with it. Unless. Okay, that's that's fine too. Wow, how the fuck are we gonna get out? <laughs> All for a joy pendant. Oh. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not. I don't think we can carry those up there. Unfortunately, at least you have joy now, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a way for us to. We don't have the proper equipment. Oh, 
no, I don't think that'll work either. We can try it, but I don't think it's gonna, I'm pretty sure if I get into the bulb, I'm gonna drop it. Maybe not, actually? Hey! We're puzzle solving, uh, puzzle solving champions when we're not fucking up. I didn't mean to do that. You would have never known that you can carry things like that. Oh, God damn it. You would have never no known that you could carry things like that uh, in the Deku bulbs. Or the Boko Baba bul bulbs. Sounds like a something you would buy at a pokey place. The Boko Baba bowl. Or like an Indian place. Nice. What do we got here? Oh, it leads us up to that other part. Hello, swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I've come here to plant the great Deku tree seed, but look, usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously wherever you plant them, but for some reason the one has withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees my fellow Koroks have planted are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seed, all the forest trees from this year's seeds wither and fail to grow tall and mighty. What are we to do? If we are not able to nurse these trees to health, the forest will never spread and the great Deku tree will slowly wither and die. Maybe if we could sprinkle the water from the forest haven on the tree, maybe then the sapling could be saved. <coughs> Let's do it. We have to go back to the forest haven anyways. <coughs> I guess that's another thing that will maybe take up more time is the side shit that you can do on the various islands. It's all in the fun of solving the, um, solving the, oh, hey, there's a blue choo-choo. I think the blue, uh, the blue jelly is one of the more rare ones. All right, let's go back to the forest. Back to the forest. Uh, I guess that's the closest wind direction. Hello? There was a thing that was going after me. I don't know what it was. It made me scared, though. I think I have some more bait as well. Me, laddie. He's the wee little fish boy, huh? Oh, he's small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth. What is that supposed to mean? Incredible girth? Is he just giant, like, he's, okay, with a monstrous pack on his back. Now, what could he be doing on that lonely little isle? I tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, Fry. You bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> Did the music change for the the Haven? Huh. Stop it! Oh my god. 
That was too much. That was too much, man. Oh, hey, no more Squiddy Boys. Okay, let's grab some water. And then we will go grab our seagull friend. Oh, crap. Um, I guess we'll just use the fairy. <coughs> I'd rather have the magic bottle. Okay, let's grab some grab some water. Maybe? Unless I need to be in deeper water. Yeah, there we go. Forest water! After 30 minutes it just becomes normal water. Interesting. It's just normal water. It even has a nifty little timer on it to let me know how long it's got. Pizza's playing Let's Go Pikachu. I haven't seen her play that in a while. Ciao. No! Ah! I wasn't paying attention. That could tree's a big ass fucking tree. Is there, is there a higher branch I can get to? I think there is, and there's a higher... Okay, I'll have to check that out. Uh, y you know what? Let's just check it out now. Fuck it. Can I make it up here? I can! So... I wonder what's up here. I want, it better be a piece of heart. to get to that chest. I bet it's a piece of heart, though. Um, let me try... I'm gonna try doing that seagull thing, maybe. A sweaty pear. I think I need to, like, be in an area where there are seagulls. Maybe? Oh, I did not... I did not make the wind go in the proper direction before I... S God fucking damn it. Rivet, you fucking up! I guess I'll just... guess I'll just die then. I should... If I, if I drown, it should take me all the way back up there. Drowning a child so that we can, uh, so that we can get a shortcut. Sounds about right. <coughs> oh wow, it actually did not reset me, it just reset me at the, at my boat. <coughs> That's what you get when you don't use your wind waker. Ah! 
Yup, yup. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Now we gotta get all the way back up there. Drowning children is a small price to pay. Correct. Come on, come on. Ooh. So I'm guessing that the seagulls will be down at that area where that nerdy boy was. Okay. What? Uh oh. Please be seagulls down here. There's got to be at least one or two. Oh, yep, there's a couple. I'm a bird! Oh, it's flight controls. <laughs> Nice, we got access to the Nintendo Vault. <laughs> He's like, yeah! <coughs> I don't think there's anything else for us to grab, though. Te te telepathically controlling a seagull. Alright, what's... What's all this hubbub about? Welcome! Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery Figurine Palace! This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction, I hope? Ah, oh, well, no worries one way or the other. We've been losing gim members due to our lack of gimmicky attractions. But we don't worry. True fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines we have on display here have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the master sculptor a pictograph that steals my breath away, then you'll become a member, and you'll become able to view the collection in our galleries. And won't that be nice? Do you have such a pictograph? I do not. This is interesting, though. Oh, okay. So I need to take pictures of things and bring it to him. Well, at least we know that's here. I guess. Hello? Boat. There you are. Okay, now we need to... <coughs> bring the sparkling juice to our friend. That's fine. I imagine we're probably going to need that water more. Because I imagine this is like the equivalent of the Koroks in Breath of the Wild. Hello, what are you? That was like a shark.
Nope, that's not what I wanted. Yoink. Why does Link make that sound? Does he is he like pulling a pulling a muscle? Fuck. I wonder what we get for uh, for helping our Korok friend. Oh yeah, I forgot about that chest that was over. God damn it. Wait, so do I just pour it on? Please, please be the right thing to do. Okay, cool. Aw, it's cute. <clears throat> Thank you very much, swordsman. You must find seven more. Of course, there are seven more. In just 23 minutes 50, that force water you have will turn into plain water. So hurry up and look for it. Oh, God. I still have more. I have to find them in 20 minutes. Or I guess 20 minute increments. Okay. Uh, let's make sure it's going, going the right direction. Actually, I'm not sure which way is the right direction. I think it's over here. Okay, yeah. Whatever that spire is over there. Can you just leave, can you leave me alone? Is this the place that he wanted me to go to? <clears throat> oh, it's getting stormy. This couldn't be the place that you want me to go to. Reach Thorned Fairy Island. A thorny fairy. Anybody want a thorny fairy? A horny fairy. Ooh. What am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be swinging? What am I supposed to be swanging? Catch me swang. Catch me swanging to tomorrow. I think I can climb up once he reaches a neutral position. Come on. I could have sworn that I could climb up and down the... I guess not. So how the fuck... Hmm. It's interesting why that's there. I don't know why it's there. I am supposedly supposed to use a pair, though. I can tell by the seagulls being here. So there's probably a switch that's up there somewhere. I do not have a pair, though. Which means I need to hunt down Beetle. <clears throat> Northwest! We're going northwest! And there's treasure over here. There's honestly a lot more... 
Um, there's honestly an, a lot more uh, in this overworld than I remember there being. Fifty ruples. What are you gonna do? I don't want to go check out this little spire that's over here, though. <coughs> Hello, child. <coughs> There's just a, a square obelisk coming out of the sea over there. That's not concerning at all. It's a shell! It looks like it's blocked off, though. And I think there's a hammer that we get as well. And we do not have that. Oh, we're supposed to go over there. Oh, that's right, the world map repeats. So if you go past one edge of the map, you end out on the other. PP Max! Hello? You found a Moltres! It's too dangerous to go any further. Oh, I guess not? I thought that you- I thought it repeats. Okay, I guess not. I wonder why he told me to go northwest, though, when it's all the way on the other side of the fucking map. It is pretty much just straight west across as well. Oh, it's gonna take us a fucking while. I'm pretty sure there's a faster sail we can get as well at some point. If a, if a sail can make you faster. I don't know. I guess it, like, catches more wind, maybe? Wow. It's going to take us a while. Can you imagine what it would be like walking across this vast swath of space? I wonder how big the world map of Wind Waker stacks up on... Uh, Stacks up against other large world maps. How's it going, five viewers? I appreciate you. We are four uh, followers away, by the way, to uh, our stretch goal of having a cat tea party, a tea party with our cats in drag, and we'll play uh, a Switch game together, like maybe Mario or something, who knows? Something soft and cozy, you know? So, if you like my content, like my vibe, Go ahead and drop a follow, and even a subscription if you are uh, generous. Ah! Uh. Oh hey, treasure! Give me the treasure! More money. More money. Give us some more money. <clears throat> I don't even know what island we're going to. Where are we going, boat boy?
It's honestly super impressive how this game was a GameCube game, and it was so, like, dynamic. I mean, obviously, the textures are really simple, but, like, there was a day-night cycle, there was wind direction, there was a gigantic world. It's wild what they did with this game. I wonder what this island is. I kind of want to go see it. That's part of the adventure. We're adventuring right now! Oh no. This is. Oh, it's a pirate base. They're gonna pirate me up. Oh god. A whole cannon. Don't do it. Don't do it, son. Okay, so I imagine. Hold on. Yikes. Okay, I think I need to stop off here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm just getting out. Can I get up here? Okay. Nice. Leave me alone. Okay. I don't even know if we have the equipment to do this, but I, I, I want to check it out anyways. What are you even protecting? What is this island even about? Like, am I supposed to have something to hit those, like, maybe bombs? Maybe it's like a cannon thing, because I think at some point we get a cannon on the boat. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, I don't think there's anything too crazy over here. Still, it leads me to the question... What the fuck are you protecting over here? You're just protecting a bunch of rocks that you claimed as your own? No! Leo's sitting on you with his ass. What else would he sit on you with? <laughs> <clears throat> he is really like sitting on you hard. <laughs> but I'ma just sit. Cannon squid. Leave me alone, cannon squid. The ocean does get really choppy in this game. Like, honestly, the the ocean simulation, top tier. It's another fucking pirate fortress. I don't think we can go in there until we have, like, a cannon thing. God, this these waters are precarious. The seven seas are precarious, my friends. Holy shit, that's a lot of treasure. What do we got? More money! I think this is going to be the way we make our cash. Oh, I think we're maxed out, actually. We need to get a bigger wallet before we pick up any more money. Have you ever run into that problem in your real life? 
My wallet's not big enough for my money. Whoa, that's a terrifying. I don't like that face. Ah! They're like gigantic blobs with mouths. Beep, beep, beep. Honestly, this iconic boat pose. Okay, I think this is the place that we're supposed to be going to. Yeah. Right. Look, Rivet, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Oh, Great Fish Isle, that's what it's called. I don't remember this part of the game at all. What is the meaning of this? This island is... They're too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, there, Rivet! Hey! Flying all the way out to see me. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? <coughs> on that island where you were born, on Outset. Nice. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Rivet. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts in clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must be right. It must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. <coughs> yeah, don't tell me what to do. There's a neat little boat. Oh, beetle! I need a pair from you. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught white wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to be believe the words of the Rito postman, then the pir pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Come here, beetle. Come here! Give me a pair. You know you want to. Oh, I guess he sold out? That's interesting. <coughs> the beetle in this game surely uh, does not care that much about keeping stock as much as the his uh, predecessor from Breath of the Wild. Um, let's see, where do we want to go? Windfall Island is over there. To the northeast. I wonder if there's anything that we could even get here. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> All right, onward, onwards and upwards. gonna be rainy and shit the entire way there.
if it is, that's gonna be weird because like, there's no way that it just had like that thing just happened and now because Jaboon's gone, like the sea is upset or something like that. Because then that would imply that it happened as soon as I got there, that he like went away. Oh God. Get out of here. What's this little thing over here? Oh no. Hey, it's the Tingle Island. I didn't know that we would stumble across it. But here we are. I think this is where Tingle keeps enslaved his brothers. I got a letter we just got a letter we just got a letter if you wish to be a true swordsman find some knight's crests orca <coughs> thanks orca i couldn't use your rupees though so i'm just gonna throw them away <laughs> amazing Eve, oh, this is so heavy. This is just between you and me. This guy has another brother. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Next time, bring me one of my favorites. A chart I haven't seen yet. Please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me here at Tinkle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic awaits. Then play spin and spin. This is the work of wonderful fairy power. You know it. Ground goes against electric. Um, what else goes good against electric? Stone? Yeah, none of those are going to be super effective. Charizard! I haven't played Poke. I don't know if I'm ever going to play another Pokemon game, honestly. I might play, like, the older ones on stream, but I I don't know. They'd have to... Re I don't know. Pokemon Legends Arceus looks okay. So maybe, maybe I'll play that, but... I don't know. The way that Pokemon is currently with Sword and Shield, I don't know if I'd play another mainline Pokemon game. <coughs> I've just grown out of it, you know? I say as I play Wind Waker. Please tell me you restocked, Beetle. I need a pair. Give me a pair. Give me that sweet, sweaty pair. Link, come on. Come on, Link, what are you doing? No, oh, he's still sold out. It's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's secret gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Rivet, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Time to be sneaky. I think I'm gonna have to sneak into the bomb shop. But I kinda wanna look around a little bit first.
Am I supposed to sneak onto the ship? I don't know. Here I go. How do you treat a shark? Uh. Okay, I. I don't know. Okay, I need to find a password to get into the ship. Decorative object? You can place decorative objects on Windfall Island? That's weird. Oh, hey, there's an invisible chest over there. I wonder if I could... Hold on. Why can't... No. No, there's no way. There's no way I can't interact with it. That's so lame. I need to figure out how to get it to appear before I can interact with it. What kind of foul magic is this? Uh, water. Fire and water. Fire, I'm good. They bombs. That's what they be doing. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as a payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. <coughs> huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that rivet, I just knew he was hiding something out back at Outsa, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and keep those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss is what I meant to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what we say, we sail out tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? The treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? <laughs> You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island? You saw the senseless, the senseless destruction? We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. <clears throat> huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about the island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. <coughs> oh, no! <laughs> Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. 
but we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Hi, hi. Aw, she's sweet. She knows Link's trying to do shit. Say there, brother, what's today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Today's password is Chumily, yeah? Remember? Chumily. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The password's Chumily. They had to repeat it three times. I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna forget how it's spelled or something. Um, I, 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 what is this? Oh, okay. I'm in a hole! Yoink. It's... Chumily! Oh, I, maybe I added too many L or too many M's. <coughs> Is it just I L Y? Yeah. Chumily. Right, right, I may enter. What kind of person just says somebody can come in and doesn't and just walks away from the door? I guess unless it's somebody that you know. I guess that makes sense. Oh, Rivet! My old swabby Rivet! So you're alive? All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought... Never mind what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set you next to your test? Set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well this time there aren't any, which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. <clears throat> is it though? <laughs> what? It smells like doo doo. Yeah. Cat probably shit its ass. And that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get there before time runs out. Run out of time and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. I don't like the way you phrased that. Little swabby. All right. I don't know how to slide down. How do I slide down? Oh, okay, I get it. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Okay. That sped things up. Come on. Don't close on me. Nice. What? You've got to be... You did it already? You're... You're incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? If I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? 
<laughs> he had to look at me as he walks out. Bombs. Bombs. Amazing. And we can now use cannon. We, we have a cannon now. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet. Huh. You don't give much things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a little simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs, anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You'd better be quick, kid. Oh boy. Guess we gotta head right, right over there. Beep, 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 beep. Wait. What's this switch do? Oh, it closes it again. I locked him in. Yikes. Where'd the red lion boy go? I bet he's at the dock. Yeah. Hey, I got mail. What do we got? Beetle shop ship. It's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product. Bombs. Nice. Now you know where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. Shop ship. I swear to God, if you jump over my monitor, Calcifer, I'm gonna lose my shit. Bye. Okay. Uh, maybe the shop ships he's talking about are different. Interesting. Oh, it just tells me on the map where it's at. It's weird that he doesn't have stock. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer of it. On we go. Oh, here we go, sailing again. Dragon roost. Oh, shit. God damn it, stop. Windfall outset is southeast, roughly. I like how this is kind of like a global event. It, it kind of reminds me of how, uh... Oh shit, this is not the right way, it's southwest. Um... It reminds me of how Kirby Air Ride did the, the global events that would change the weather and shit. <coughs> I also really would like to find out where to get a bigger, uh coin purse or rupee rupee bag I'm not sure if the nighttime move like if, if it actually gets the wait what the fuck was that sound 
I'm not sure if the time actually moves to the point where, like, you can wait it out and they actually go and beat you to outset. Is that the Tingle Tower again? Tingle's wonderful tower of magic! Yeah, it's Tingle Tower. Nice. That was some pro level, pro level aim. Are we heading in the right direction? Just want to make sure. <coughs> Wait, is there a switch up there? I'm not sure. No, that that's a rupee. There's a golden rupee on top of his head. A golden rupee. Rupel's Drag Race. Rupert. Whoa! Thanks for following Stoplight Jerry. True comrade, how's it going? Welcome to the community, the channel, the vibe, the time. <clears throat> oh boy. Southward, we need a southward wind. And with that one follower, we are three away from our milestone. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. <coughs> the choppy seas. Time to follow for the Rupeel's Drag Race joke. <laughs> I actually haven't ever watched RuPaul's Drag Race. You'd think I'd like it. <laughs> it wasn't RuPaul caught up in some sort of controversy shit. I imagine being a drag queen in general would probably put you in the ire of many people, so... Okay, we're, we're heading in the right direction. What's this little island? Oh, this doesn't look like a fun time at all. Um, oh, am I supposed to? Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it now. Oh god. Stop it. Stop it. Can I not kill them? Oh fuck. RuPaul said problematic things about trans women? Jeez. Really? What the heck? That's so dumb. Calcifer does uh, happen to, to go into goblin mode every once in a while. 
attention. Yeah, it's only when I don't give when I don't give him attention. He'll try to get my attention by doing. He'll do things intentionally to get my attention. Like in the morning, um, to get me out of bed, he will go. He, there's some plastic bags next to um, one of the dressers. He'll go over to those plastic bags and start pawing at them until I get up. Or he'll start knocking things off of. Uh, He'll start knocking things off of dressers and shit like that, and then when I get up, and then when I get up, he'll like freak out and start like meowing, and like running away, trying to get me to go give him food or attention in general. All right, we're almost there. <clears throat> There's so many sharks. <laughs> There's a mod mode. That's cool. Yeah, I guess uh, any mods in my chat, you have a mod mode that you can use. Yeah. <coughs> have you noticed, Rivet? Morning is not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of? Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Time to go see my, uh, go see my family. I don't have any knight's crests, unfortunately. Give me your jelly. Give me your goo. Give me your goo sounds like a very bad, like B B side porn film uh, tagline. Give me your goo. Grandma, hello. Oh, um, Rivet. Eh, little, don't, don't, don't go, don't leave, uh, don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. Ooh. Poor grandmama. <laughs> We're just gonna pour water into her soup. <laughs> Give me some of that soup. Give me some of that soup. Why can't I take the soup? I could have swore that you were able to. Has she been cooking the soup this entire time? She's been cooking a soup for... I don't know. I imagine at least a month, maybe. I guess there's nothing over here. Grandma's not awake. Let us sleep. Yep. Pulling down the soup with cold water for Granny, right? I'm just doing. I'm just doing my job. Taking care of my old grandmama. What's up? Why? Okay. Ah, Rivet, you are all right. Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtful, thoughtless of you. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hm. I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay. Link holds his weapon and shield so limply. If I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me a hundred times or more before I hit you three times. Oh no! Jesus. Yeah, yeah. 
No! I don't want to get into a corner. If I get into a corner, I'm fucked. Come on, we can do it. No! Damn it. I need to not move my joystick at all when I press the A button for the parry. All right, let's try it again. Don't move that joystick, a woo. Oh, I, I need to backflip off. I can't get too close to him. Or I have to hit it as soon as he, as soon as it becomes available. Ah, oh, damn it. so upset if I get hit. Whew. Come here. Come here. He just slides. That's all he does. He does run like the Hello Neighbor guy. 25 more hits. Oh no! Damn it! That is annoying. Yeah. Gotta hit him a hundred times. I just need to not get hit a whole bunch in the beginning. No! So much for not getting hit. Now I just need to not get hit at all for the remainder of this. Ooh -hoo -hoo. does make a weird sound. No! Damn it! Mm. It's harder than I expected. I just really need to not waste those hearts in the first 20 blows. <laughs> Got it. Ah. Oh. Ooh, that was bad. Okay. Let's not get 
not get too cocky here. Come on. Let's play it safe. No, no! Ah, oh, we got greedy. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Leo, Leo for some reason thinks that he is the boss. Like he thinks that he is the. This is, his house. This is like we all live in his home. He's the landlord. He does things that make it, he's in no way, um, his personality is not at all one that you would think of to be an alpha cat. But he just, he so thinks he is. Oh boy. Okay, we're doing good. Almost made a mistake there. Oh, we made a mistake there. Hoo hoo hoo! Close, close, close. Nice, we got it. Ooh, and we can get even more. We can set like a high score, that's cool. Let's see how far we can go, I guess. I wonder if we can get to 200. I'm in the zone. We might get to 200. I spy a kitty in the background. Our kitties are eternal and a constant. <laughs> you will spy them doing things randomly in my streams. <laughs> I wonder what we get for uh, overachieving. Ah, 208 blows, you have improved. I guess it was wrong of me to treat you like you were still a lowly page. You are a page no more. Now you are a knight. Knight, it is not much, but it is now yours. Take this with you. I don't have room in my pockets, bro. Wow, that was it? All that. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Let's go see what old uh, smarty pants over here has to say. Ah. 
Is that you, Ribbit? Well, looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. Your grandmother has been having a terrible time of it ever since you left. She rarely leaves the house, and as far as I can tell, she just spends her days sleeping. She hardly eats. I've actually come here to see if my old grandpa knows of any medicine or anything that might make her feel better. Oh, Ribbit, you've come back. And in one piece, too. Gracious. My granddaughter tells me that your grandmother is in poor health these days. Now I'm certain that a little fairy dust would provide all the lift her spirits need. But, well, the problem is I haven't seen any fairies in these parts recently. Of course, long ago, you could find a lot of them up by the old fairy fountain, and you could even capture them in empty bottles. Sure, it was as easy, easy as you please. Yes, there was a time when I used to like playing with fairies. Uh, ahem. In any case, ever since the fountain was blocked up by the huge rock, I haven't seen one. The young man used to frolic with fairies. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you just want to hang out with the with the forest spirits, you know? Just vibe. Vibe in the forest. Oh god. Alright, let's check it out. Um, I think I'm supposed to... Yeah. No! Why didn't it work? Oh, I don't have a magic. I don't have magic. Duh! Do I still have that? Yeah, I do. I knew I'd need it. Okay, we need to change the wind around here. Maybe? No, I think we'll be fine. That actually works out. Wait, was that really it? Uh, okay. Maybe we need to go back up. Because I think there might be, um, like you said, fairies up there at the top. You can go grab one and give it to Grandma! Grandma loves fairies. I wish I had fairy friends to hang out with. God, now I'm... If I ever have a, a daughter, they're gonna love me. Because I'm just gonna be like, Yeah, let's hang with five with the fairies, man! Huh. I said if I ever have a daughter, um, they're gonna love me because I'm gonna be all into, the, like, fairies and, and, and stuff. Well, it... it Assuming they are a, 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 a feminine, <laughs> a feminine daughter, you know, Assu assuming that they are a, a, a girl, a feminine girl, <laughs> or I guess the feminine girls can also love fairies. I'm just saying I'll be the Disney princess, okay? I'll be a Disney princess. I'll show you all about the princesses. You're so aggressive about it. You're like, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you the princesses, okay? I'll be the princess. I'll be the princess. What? Who are you? Beneath that rock ahead, the Triforce... Does this man know where a piece of the Triforce is? What? It's underneath that face. That face. That face. I guess we gotta direct the wind. Amazing. It is now wind. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Hold on, let's see. Maybe. It's possible. We're not moving super fast, but we're getting there. Can I use a bomb to destroy this, or...? Oh. With the power you have now, you can neither lift nor destroy that stone. And yet, somewhere on the sea, the power to do so lies waiting for one to find it. Oh, okay. From this angle, it looks like the cat is hiding in your hair. 
Kalsir is knocking things over because he's in. Oh, Buzz is knocking things over. Goblin mode has is contagious. <laughs> and we have to go to the back. Take it to the back. That. Oh, there's a whirlpool. Nobody likes that. Oh, jeez. So, is there going to be a squid? Yeah, there's gonna be a squid, isn't there? Nice! Why did that make the whirlpool go away? That makes no sense. Okay. We'll just, we'll just go with it! Don't worry about it. Jabu boo. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I'm pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. <coughs> Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one, and yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. I wish I knew what you were saying. Nice. Now we've got all the orb, orb, orbies. We have all the orbies. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Okay, whatever. I guess. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us. So morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Rivet? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on outset right now so that you shall not have any regrets later. Okay, I guess... That is cute. I don't know where to find a fairy. I don't know where to find a fairy. I'm not sure what the guy meant about a fairy fountain. Unless there's one hidden up here somewhere. Get out of here, slimes. No one wants you. Ah, these things. They're like tiny gremlins. Annoying. 
Why, why are there so many of you? I don't think there's a way across. Oh god, we don't have any magic. <laughs> They're strangely cute though, right? What is that? Oh, it's a slime. It's like, what the fuck is floating in the water? Is it a dead body? All right, let's go. Uh, let's go place these pearls, I guess. I guess Grandma's just gonna die. Rip, rip in peace, Grandma. Holy shit, there's a big pig in there. Why? Well, shit. I guess, uh, let's just go. I'm sure Grandma will be fine. So, we need to go north east. <coughs> Let's make sure we check out all the islands that we spot across the way as well. We gotta find a pocket upgrade pronto, though. Unless that's Dragon Roost? That doesn't look like Dragon Roost. No, it's not. We're not close to Dragon Roost. Random cannon boy. Unless that's a friendly ship? Actually, I think there are some ships we can you can actually go into. I think that might be one of them. I don't have a fucking pair. I need a pair. Give me a pair! Beetle's got to stock up again soon, because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to be a very unhappy customer, you feel. <clears throat> What's in here? Bombs? Oh, God! Oh, no! It's a room filled with rats and bombs! Oh god, this is, this is, oh no. Chaos incarnate. Really? Really, why is that? I guess I don't need a clicker then. Yeah, I could get a retainer. 
I've been thinking about, instead of the ring, I don't know, I might just start sizing up rings because I really like the idea, or I really like the look of the, the big, the thick nose rings. I like those a lot. So I might just start, like, stretching it. Ooh, a treasure chart. Onwards. <laughs> yeah, I want something that's not super high maintenance, so I don't think I'd want a clicker if that's something that I'm going to have to take out multiple times. Yeah, or just a septum retainer, that would be. There is Cat Boy. Black or rainbow? Yeah, they do kind of look like boogers. Yeah. This, I think these uh, spire thingies are fairy fountains. Please tell me I can get in here. I think so. Yeah, I just need a bomb. <clears throat> oh, what? What's that? Are there rings? Oh, yeah. Fairy Fountain! Ooh, we can get them for Grandma. Amazing. <laughs> Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. It's one of, I think this is one of the cooler fairies. I can carry more bombs now. Okay, let's actually head back to Outset. I, I can't leave Grandma. I can't leave Grandma there. I care too much for my Grandmama. <laughs> um, so we're gonna need a Southwest Wind. They don't look too happy with their new jar home, right? Incarcerate the fairies. Incarcerate the fairies. Hey, boo! Jesus Christ. God damn it. Um. This. Gotta love me that blue jelly. <laughs> I forgot about... I, I played Fortnite towards the beginning of when it was in a, uh, first doing its Battle Royale shit. Um, 
and I remember the fucking blue juice. I forget what it's called. It's something cringy, like <laughs> slam juice or something. Slam, slam back that slam juice, then slam it on the fucking ground. Don't recycle, because recycling's for babies. Don't recycle, because recycle's for nerds. What? The body hurts. Poor body. Everybody rip to pizza's body. It's, uh... It's dying. Not really. <laughs> I'm not really dying. I'm not really dying. Well, I am, though. It's freaking tired. <coughs> I'm freaking tired, of, man. I'm tired. Oh, God. We're going the wrong oh. direction. I've been watching. That's why I stopped playing. But... Yeah. But now I'm... Our hair looks like the same <laughs> in the camera. I'm a, uh, I can't really see it though. You can't, yeah, you really can't see it. I gotta be careful not to bend the floor you. <laughs> this is not that type of stream. Ooh. Don't want your titties all out. And I don't know if that stream would be free. Yeah. <laughs> and probably not a good idea to have that kind of slight when you're trying to get the partner. <laughs> <laughs> what if you were so close and then just one day, I just walk in, getting out. Oh boy. And you're like, oh, uh, oh all boy. All of your subscribers are like, you, game game. you posted titties on your Twitch, you lose subscribers. No, I think you'd gain them. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd gain subscribers at that point. <laughs> I'm coming, Grandma! Beetle, I swear to God, if you are still out of shit, I'm going to be reporting you to the Better Business Bureau. I'm still out of stock. I'm gonna give you a bad review on Yelp. <laughs> hey. Why is he so scrawny? He is kind of scrawny in this also, game. why is he like almost naked? You have a bashful look on your face, Mr. Customer. Give me that pear. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can buy more pears? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> it does have a face on it, and the pear is sweaty. Give me more pears! Bye! The Beetle support stream. We, we... Beetle support stream. All proceeds go to Beetle. Beep, 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 beep. All proceeds go to Beetle. Which reminds me, there is a thing that proceeds are actually going to. We're, I'm doing a, uh, we're running a charity for... <laughs> We're running a charity for uh, Stop Asian American Pacific Islander Hate. Um, if you go to my donate pal panel below, that will take you directly to the donation pa page that goes to them. We've raised something like, I think we've raised almost $2,000 for them so far. So, If you uh, are feeling generous, um, it is a good cause for sure. Um, I have my personal donations t uh, turned off, and all donations will instead be going to them. So, feel free. What the... Fairy. Fairy! Fairy. Here. Scary. Here, Grandma. That fairy is scary. Wow. Uh, oh, hey. What if she's like... <laughs> I cured Grandma. Oh, Rivet. Grandma's always happy to see your bright, shining face. Rivet, my dear, sweet Rivet. 
you're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Errol are trying so hard to be strong and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Rivet. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Rivet, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. Soup. Soup. Soup time. Soup time! And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full of those two helpings inside. Isn't she the best? You and your sister love the soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it out for you anytime you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you be strong too. But don't do anything reckless. <laughs> I'm your grandma. <laughs> don't do anything reckless, kid, okay? All right, we healed grandma. Um, we got a bunch of sweaty pears in our pocket. Um, seems about good time as any to head out to the great old sea. Wow, I completely missed my boat. Okay, uh, where are we going now? Okay, I love you. Bye everybody. Um, Take care of Rivet. <laughs> okay, north east. North east. We in it. We in it. Oh, actually, this little island over here was a seagull thing that we couldn't do before. Wow, I can use my boomerang on the boat? Damn. Nifty. Rock the boat, rock the boat. It doesn't seem to slow down our speed or anything, it just makes us look real jolly at sea, you know? Okay, let's uh, let's jack us a seagull. Seagull jacking. That's what we're doing. Uh, got me a pair. Oh, it's like a little. Oh, so I'm guessing these areas are, um, these stones are Triforce pieces. Because that's what it's made it seem like on the, uh, Outset Island. God fucking damn it. I just want, I just want this ruby. Come on. Okay. anything else so I guess I'll have to just keep this in mind this is a Triforce location <coughs> tingle bottles okay I think we're heading in the right direction 
Cats are going wild. <laughs> is that the fairy fountain that we already hit? I think it is. I wonder when we're going to run into one of those squid bosses. I think those um, hanging around in the sea somewhere. But I think those have specific locations that we have to go to. This neat little group of uh, pirate towers. They're, they're buds. With pirate towers that close, you'd think that they would make, like, bridges or something. Oh, they got cannon towers. Okay. So somewhere in this area. Wait, are we sure? That has to have been the fairy fountain that we already hit. Let me see. I gotta see, I gotta confirm. I guess I do have a fucking telescope. I don't have to go all the way over there. Uh... Yeah, that is the same one. Cool. Oh no. It's storm time. Oh, that was a weird storm scene there. It kind of like, kind of wanted to storm a little bit. Oh God. Oh no, this isn't gonna be fun. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, that's terrifying. No, no, no! I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Terrifying. Truly terrifying. Hey! Huh? Wandering traveler who sings the guideposts of the goddesses. They're just... They're stopped in place. Place the pearl you hold here. Nice. Very good. Okay, we're out of here. Fuck this. The next one is north. on a stick. things over there. I think those are just pirate rafts, maybe? <laughs> 
still don't know if maybe we can go into those fortresses. Oh, shit. And we're supposed to, like, hit him with bombs or something? I don't know. Let's, let's check it. Check it! Wanna move faster. So those squids shoot bombs. Are the bombs like part of their anatomy? Do they just create bombs naturally? Don't mind me, bomb boy. I'm not trying to bother you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in here. Okay, so I'm assuming I need to shoot these. Maybe? It doesn't look like it. That didn't seem to do anything, at least. That's so interesting. Um, I guess there's nothing here, then. That's weird. Like, what purpose does it serve? I'm just gonna turn right around. Okay, so the island, it looks like it might be that island over there. Oh boy. I think this is, uh, this is that frog dude. <laughs> Foolish creature who does not fear the gods to the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. Grandiose. Grandiose lad. So how am I supposed to fight this guy? Uh... What was I supposed to do there? He just blew me to, to Dragon Roost Island? Rivet, are you all right? It would seem that the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the seas. Ah, but if only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones. Then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. You do not yet have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. You got it! Um, so now we need to go, like, southwest. Looks like there's another fairy fountain. Maybe. See if we can get in there. What's this treasure? Please be something cool and not be just money. Is it just gonna be money? It is just money. <laughs> I think maybe those glowing spots are just money, which is fine. <clears throat> Let's see what this fairy is all about. Unless it's the one where I need the hammer. The skull hammer. Is it just a rock? I think it's just a rock. Nice. And I got mail.
Give me that mail. And there's a Korok here as well. How you doing, Rivet? Oh, Grandma's sending me letters now. Thanks, Grandma. She gave me some of her own precious money. What a sweet lady. Okay, what's the what's the fairy gonna upgrade this time? you got more bombs Jesus I have too many bombs there's no way I'm gonna use 99 bombs holy shit like west honestly I think sailboating would be pretty cool <laughs> that's a random thing to say I don't know, if I could go this fast in a boat like this, that would be cool. And I imagine it wouldn't be too expensive to buy one. Like a wind sail or something. Gotta find another creepy statue. So I need to steer clear of the cyclone. Oh god, he's coming for me. Give him a wide berth. Why does it have- oh, I thought it had a smiley face on it. Nice. What's that tower over there? The next one is southeast. Oh no, directly into the cyclone. No, fuck off. Fuck off. He was following me a little bit there. Sneaky bastard. This game is so pretty. I'll say it over and over. Ooh, is that another one? 
wonder if we can get in. Let's try it. I guess we could check out that tower too while we're over there. Because I'm pretty sure placing this pearl is going to open up the, the Hyrule Castle. What do you got in front of your in front of your thing blocking it? Is this the one with the stakes? I actually can't see. Hmm. I don't see anything. Unless it's just open? I guess it's just open. And it, wait. We've already been here, haven't we? Maybe? I don't know. I guess uh, let's check it out. Yeah, we've been here. I kind of want to check out this tower, but I feel like... It's a destination that we're going to go to eventually anyway. Oh, that's just Dragon Roost. Never mind. Sure. South. Why not? I think once we get into Hyrule Castle, I'll probably call it a night. <clears throat> Just to give us a clear, clear, uh, uh, good good opportunity like to, to pause so that we're not in the middle of a dungeon or something. Bunch of cyclones over here. What is that? Oh, it's the it's the grapple lads. All right, let's see what happens. I can't remember exactly what happens. <clears throat> I'm thinking laser. Lasers, maybe? Laser, laser. Laser, 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 laser. Uh oh, not a laser. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. Wait, laser, laser. Laser! Hey! Uh, 
amazing. We got we got a, a neat little present, and we got laser. Cry force time. Oh, I remember now. It's the Tower of the Gods. Yep. Yep. Oh, he didn't go inside. Nice. I thought he was gonna, like, land on the inside like he did with the fortress. So I imagine the tower leads down into the castle. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Rivet, that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over that many hardships you have faced. And you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. You know it, bud. I'll do my best. This structure is really cool, though. It's very Oblivion-esque. You know how the Imperial City was uh, structured? Alright, um... Let's see. Tower of the Golds. Cool music. Okay, um, we'll go park over here. What the shit? Is there even gonna be a place to park at all? Bro, I gotta park my boat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. No, boat, you're in the way. No, boat! Oh, shit. Just want to get in this door so that I can get the solid ground. And then drop a save. No, I didn't want to talk to you. No, 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 no. Okay. Cool beans. Okay. We are going to drop a save. And we will continue next weekend. Um, I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, thank you especially to Stoplight Jerry for the follow. Um, I hope you guys have a good start to your week. Um, prepare for the week tomorrow, Sunday. Do some self-care. Stay hydrated. Uh, make sure you take a piss. Um, do all that good stuff, you know? Um, I will be back on Wednesday with Pizza Time. Me and Pizza will play a multiplayer game. Right now we're working on Luigi's Mansion 3. And then on s next Saturday and Sunday at 8 p.m. EST, we will be back at it with more Wind Waker. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace out. Have a good week, all right?